Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Welcome back. How you doing? Welcome to another Pokemon opening. Today, we've got another big box. Oh my gosh. So, this is the Pikachu box, and we're going to get another pin for our lanyard, guys. Uh, so this one goes with the Hoopa one. Uh, sorry, that was probably really loud. This one is um, a Pikachu. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. The pin's sideways in here, but that's okay. I was looking for this thing forever. It took like three weeks to find it, I swear. But uh, basically, it comes with a Pikachu EX, uh, this Regigigas, Zekrom, Palkia, Black Kyrum, and Latias, which you can't even see. Um, and some packs. So basically, we got some stuff to open. So let's go ahead and do that, right? Uh, no reason to wait. Um, so. I really wanted this when I saw it. Um, that Hoopa pin caught my eye, but this thing, I saw it and I was like, oh man, having that. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy out. This pin looks awesome. Sorry, Cyclone. Um, I know you're not a Pikachu fan, but look at him. He's so cool looking. He looks like he's ready for a fight, guys. I'm glad he, it's actually focusing pretty well. Cool. So, we'll put him right here. Yeah, I like that Pikachu. <laughs> Not gonna lie, very big fan of that. So, what do we got? Let's see. Let's see if I can open this thing. Ah, sorry, I'm bad at opening boxes. You'd think I'd be good. I've done so many of these openings, but nope. Okay, so I'll go over there. Um, pet, er, Pokemon cards. Code card. This is gonna go on my Twitter. So if you don't already, follow me on my Twitter. Um, and you might be in for a, in for a nice little surprise. Uh, I just kind of randomly post the, uh, the codes for this pack, or like, you know, packs and stuff. So, um, sometime within the coming week, it should be going up. So, here's the Pikachu. It's a Pikachu EX. It's got Iron Tail, which, uh, you flip a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. And Overspark, you discard all electric energy attached to this Pokemon. And this attack does 50 damage times the number of uh, energy you detach. So it's not a super good card, gonna be honest. Um, let's get rid of this thing. There we go, it's gone. It's not super good, but it's really cool looking. I mean, like, look at the Pikachu on there. Looks really cool to me. Uh, and let's see what else we get. Because I don't, act I didn't actually look at any of these um, before I started recording. So we've got this Palkia. What's he got? Wave Splash, 30 damage. Cross Slicer. Your opponent can't attach any energy from his or her hand to the defending Pokemon during his or her next turn. That seems pretty good. Whoops. <laughs> Black Kyrum. Thundernail, which, uh, flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. And Frozen Slice, this uh, Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. Sounds horrible. Uh, Zekrom. Slash. And Voltage Storm. Voltage Storm, this attack does 10 damage uh, to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Uh, that seems actually pretty good. So that's uh, that's a plus. Latios, Eon Connection, and Speedway. Let's see. Eon Connection. Draw a card if Latios is on your bench. Draw one. Wait. Oh, yeah. L draw a card if Latios is on your bench. Draw one more card. That seems okay. And Speedwing, 60 damage. And this Reggie Gigas, which looks awesome. Um. Earthen Awakening. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, heal 20 damage from it. And Gigas Punch. Uh, flip two coins if both of them are tails. This attack does nothing. Takes four energy, does 100 damage. So none of these guys are super good, but they're not EXs or anything. They're just kind of generic uh, legendaries. Well, actually, this Zekrom's pretty good. Um, I think he's okay anyway. I don't know. You guys are probably going to yell at me for having dumb opinions about stuff, but whatever. Uh, so what do we got? Um... See, we got a Primal Clash, Breakthrough, Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, and Roaring Skies. So, if I recall, they go in this order. Um, just in terms of, like, uh, when they were released. So, we'll open Primal Clash first, I guess. So, again, follow me on Twitter if you want the code from this. Um, I'll be posting it eventually. And, you know, all that stuff. It, yeah, and I just kind of, like I said before, I post these just randomly. So, uh, you never know when it'll go up. One, two, three. One, two. Here we go, guys. We got a Vulpix. We got a Vulpix up in this joint uh, with a roar and gnaw. Oh, gosh. One second. Let me... 
Oh god. Forgot to plug in my charger for my laptop. Don't want that to go into sleep mode. There we go. Alright, that could have been bad. Sorry about that. Let's see, what's it got? Uh, Roar and Gnaw. Horrible. Horrible. But it's a Vulpix. <gasps> it's a Sphiel! I haven't gotten a Sphiel in a while. Very happy about that. With Ice Ball. Very cool. We got a Hone Edge. What's he got? Metal Sound. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Doesn't have any attacks, though. We got a Hippopotas with uh, Tackle and Rolling Tackle. So, Tackle Variants. Got an Electric. With charge, uh, search your deck for an electric energy and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your, uh, shuffle your deck after. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Oh, we got a Rhydon. This Rhydon looks pretty cool. Uh, what's he got? Take down. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. And Horn Drill, 70 damage. Not too shabby. Ooh, a Bufalon. Uh, if this, or this Pokemon's attacks do 40 more damage to your opponent's grass Pokemon. Hmm. And he's got Derail. Discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. This guy actually seems pretty good. Uh, he could potentially be really nasty against grass decks. And this uh, derail attack only does 80 da or I mean, it does 80 damage, only requires 3 energy. Seems pretty good. Oh gosh, you didn't see that. We got all in noon with Fury Swipes and Dash Attack. Uh, what's Dash Attack do? This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And Fury Swipes, flip 3 coins. This attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. And you, see, you guys saw this. I can't even pretend you didn't. It's a wish cash. It's an uh, ancient trait. What's he got? Um, Alpha Growth. When, the, uh, when you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, except with an attack, ability, or trainer card, you may attach uh, two energy cards. Huh. Neat. That seems pretty good. You could get him ready, uh, ready to go pretty quickly. Let's see. Water Gun, 40 damage. Earthquake. 120 damage, and this attack does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Hmm, it's okay. It looks really cool. I mean, Gargleflop would probably like it. So, okay, last card for this pack. It's a Sceptile. What's he got? Uh, nurture and Heal as his ability, and once per turn during your turn uh, before you attack, you may attach an, a Grass Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, and if you do, heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. And Jungle Edge, 70 damage. Cool. Well, this thing looks pretty neat, so I like that. Um, and, of course, we did get a Sveal, so we'll put him over here. You guys know how I feel about Sveals. Me and, uh, me and Quill were broskies. We were. Haven't seen him in a long time, but that's okay. Still broskies. God, that would have been so bad if my laptop went into sleep mode. I'd have been mad, guys. You don't even know. Uh, this is another one for Twitter. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, here we go, guys. You ready for this? We got a Halucha. Cap loves his Haluchas, so I'll have to rub it in his face that I got one. We got a Cascoon. We've got a Meowth. Feeling fine. Draw a card. This is not a good card, but you can see this little, uh, what you call him? Um, oh, God, what's it called? Uh, Inke. In the background, and he's super cool looking. We got a Shop It with Bleh. Gligar with Stun Poison. We've seen a lot of these cards before. That's why I'm kind of skipping over them. We got an Unpheasant with Quick Attack. Uh, flip a coin of heads. This attack does 30 more damage. It seems really good for... Oh, wait. Well, Unpheasant is a stage three is, or stage 2, isn't he? And Strong Winds. Shuffle all cards attached to each player's Pokemon into that player's deck. Hmm. That's interesting. We got a Winona. Very good card for any normal decks. We got a Mega Turbo. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. That seems pretty good. Uh, our Reverse Hollow is a Natu. I actually really like the art on this one. Look at that. It's super cool looking. Uh, it looks really neat. So, very cool. And last card. It's an Articuno. This Articuno is actually really good. Uh, it's got Find Ice, which lets you uh, search your deck for three water energies. Freezing Wind as an attack is... Uh, a little bit difficult to use just because you need four energy for it, but that find ice is pretty good. So, very, very much a fan of that because you can just search your deck for all your energy cards. So, uh, yeah, good for good for uh, new players anyway. So next up, Ancient Origins. Hopefully, we'll get something cool. Maybe we'll get that Hoopa that's super good, right? Kind of doubt it, but whatever. Um, good card for Twitter. One, two, three, oh, one, two, and here we go. 
We've got a Relicanth with Deep Sea Search. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon tool cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. And take down. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. Not a very good card. Ball Toy with an Ancient Trait. Uh... Oh, it's not a very good one. Uh, he's got Future Spin. Look at the top three cards of your, either player's deck and put them back on top of the player's deck in any order. Yeah. We got a Ralts, Mumble, and Magic Shot. Larvesta with Combustion. That's a really cool looking Larvesta. I haven't opened very many uh, Ancient Origins packs just because they didn't really release that many pins as far as I'm aware. But uh, yeah, Larvesta's pretty cool. Oh, we got a Golurk. Now you guys know I like Golurk. Uh, he's a fighting type. With Dig Out, discard the top card of your deck, and if that card is a fighting energy, attach it to this Pokemon. And Double Lariat, flip two coins. This attack does 90 damage times the number of heads. Seems okay. We've got a Flareon. Uh, Flare Effect. Each of your Stage 1 Pokemon in play is now a Fire-type Pokemon in, in addition to its existing types. And Heat Breath. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 more damage. Not too bad. Ooh, we got a Level Ball. What's this do? Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Shovel your deck afterwards. So this is good for getting your basic Pokemon and stuff. Very cool. We got a Sableye with Bewitching Eyes. Choose a supporter card from your opponent's discard pile and use it as the effect of this attack. And Furative Drop. Furative, I guess. I don't know. Put three damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Not too bad. Our Reverse Hollow is a Gloom with Drool. 30 damage. Not a lot to say about that. I like the art on it, though. He seems pretty happy. And last card. It's a Vile Plume. Neat. Um, I don't actually have any Oddish there, do I? Oh well. Uh, what's it got? Irritating Pollen. Each player can't play any item cards from his or her hand. And Solar Beam, 70 damage. I kind of thought Solar Beam would have a, an, an, an additional effect just because it's Solar Beam. But, you know, it doesn't. So that's kind of neat. Anyway, uh, not a horrible pack, but we didn't get anything super amazing. That level ball could be good, I guess. But nothing super great. Now, last packs, guys. Breakthrough and Breakthrough. Now, you guys know I have been getting some really good stuff out of these Breakthrough packs. Uh, so, let's see if that trend continues. Let's see. Because, I've what, I've gotten one break and four... Yeah, four EXs out of these in, like, eight packs. So, um, that ain't too bad. Oh, God, you didn't see that. They, they flip-flopped how they do the, uh... What you call it? Um code cards and I don't like it. Okay, so what do we got? We got a Ralts with Nap, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, and Smack. Not too bad. Pan
Oh, it's a braviary. Okay. So I thought it was something amazing. That's okay. Um, what's he got? Wig attack and dual cut. Uh, flip two coins. This attack does 80 damage times the number of heads. I don't have the little rufflet guy, though. So can't really use that for anything. It's weird that we got two different chest bins. But you guys know how I like my basic Pokemon. So I'll probably do something with them. I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. Or uh, end this little uh, jump cut. Be right back. Did you miss me? I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, uh, my camera has like a 17 minute and 22 second recording time. It's really weird. I don't get it, but whatever. Um, so, let's look at what we got here. We have this awesome looking Dedenne. This Ursa Ring is super cool. Uh, I'm not sure if he's good or not, but he looks like he would be. Let's see. Uh, switch one of your opponent's po uh, bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage to the new Pokemon. And swing around, flip two coins, this attack does 40 more damage for each heads. These seem like they're really good attacks, honestly. Um, these Chespins look awesome, obviously. I like Chespin. This Piplup looks awesome, like Piplup. Um, yeah, we get some cool stuff, honestly. Um, nothing super amazing, though. We, don't, we didn't get any uh, EXs out of those packs. That's okay, though. Uh, maybe you guys will out of the uh, out of the packs that I'm gonna post on Twitter. And we did get this Pikachu, I guess. I don't. I guess he doesn't count, but still. Um, yeah. So guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, oh yeah, I also got this stuff. Um, feel free to tell me. And if you guys know of any other pins that they're coming out with in the near future, because I can't really follow all this stuff. But if you see anything about any cool pins that they're coming out with. Feel free to let me know, because I would love to get some more. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do another one of these next week, because I don't know of any more pins that I can get. Uh, I'll, I'll look around and see if there's anything cool. But before we end this video, obviously, we've got to put this new Pikachu pin on my thingy. So, let's grab this. We're actually almost almost out of room on this lanyard, which is kind of crazy because I got it specifically so that I would have more room for stuff. But, we just haven't. So, let's go ahead and stick this Pikachu right here above Mewtwo. Right there, methinks. Yeah, it looks like a good spot. And, let's see if we can put the thingy on. I'm really bad at this. I always end up like putting extra holes and stuff. Well, and I hit the camera. Fantastic. What a great day. So, we've got some awesome, awesome pins on here. My Genesec pin is on my shuckle hat. Let me grab that, actually. So, you know that I didn't lose it. I love this hat. I've been wearing it all over the place. Now that I don't have all my pins in it, it's been a lot easier to wear. But, just because they were, they were actually kind of heavy. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I uh, got lots of pins, but this new Pikachu pin, super awesome looking. One of my favorites, actually. Just, like, based off of the looks. I decided that when I saw it the first time, not just, like, just now. Um, it's so cool looking. Just look at it. He's great. He's a great pin. Uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep an eye out for those codes on Twitter, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.